Okay, this is a tutorial that I'm gonna do uh, explaining some of the teaching resources for the online version of my new book, Causal Inference, the Mixtape. So let me tell you a little bit about this project. So Causal Inference, the Mixtape is a book on uh, causality as it's understood in the quantitative social sciences. Uh, and it's being published by Yale University Press and you can purchase it for $35 from Yale University Press directly, which has had the most, uh, the better options for getting it quickly, or you can get it from Amazon. And um, uh, it's available for $35 and it'll be published January 26th. Okay, so um, one of the great things about the uh, online mixtape is that, or the new mixtape is that it comes with uh, an online version. That was one of the great things that Yale uh, agreed to work with me on was to provide a complimentary online version uh, for people wanting to get, you know, a full holistic experience out of the book. It comes with these it's online free version. This is free for everybody. Um, you know, you have here the welcome page, you have here the introduction and you can read all this and this is totally free and it has everything. And all along the way, there's links to the, uh, to the book. But if you go down here to teaching resources, what you'll get is an explanation about how to use the R scripts, the R markdown scripts that are available to you on this website. So one of the things you get, let's just look at the directed acyclic graphs chapter, right? One of the things you get in each of these chapters is uh, you get, here, where is it? Code. Right, so here's a code here with uh, of gender discrimination in a model with occupational sorting. Uh, and you've got this uh, do file here. You can run this, you can copy this, uh, put it on your local machine, run it, great. Okay, so you can do that. And you can also do the same thing with uh, R. Got the R code right below it. Okay, so I could do that, save this to my computer and uh, run it on my local computer using something like uh, RStudio, okay? So those are all options available to you, all right? Those are all options available to you, but you also have this third option, which is, or the second option. And the second option is don't copy and paste from within the book. Work directly with R Markdown scripts that were used to create uh, some teaching exercises, okay? And now these are only in R, but you have the ability to, to do it in R. So let's walk through what you can do. All right, so here we go to teaching resources in this repository, all right, here's the repository. It's called Scunning 1975 slash Mixtape Learner, all right? This will be uh, public soon enough, but right now it's private. All right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to that repo, it's called a repo, and you're gonna click fork. Now I can't fork it because I'm the owner of the repository, but uh, you could fork it. And when you fork it, you're allowed to do anything with it that you want to, okay? You can make changes to the course, customize the files to your liking, right? You just gotta make sure you're in the right place. Right? So when you're in the right place, look what you get you get all these what are called R markdown, dot RMD, R markdown files. And what is the R markdown file? Well, let's look, all right? Let's look at the first R markdown file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna up, I'm gonna open the directed acyclical graphs R markdown, right? So what I did was I forked the directory. Uh, as a result of forking the directory, I've got a local uh, mixtape learner uh, on my git. Uh, you know, my local uh, local Git drives or whatever. And I've got all these, um, I've got all these uh, R Markdown packages, R Markdown files, right? So what, what does an R Markdown document do? All right, well, let's look at it. Let's run this one, okay? Now look, this is not the full chapter. Notice there's no text in here, whereas we saw text over here, okay? When we were looking through this, we saw all this writing. There's no writing in there. What instead there is, is this R Markdown document that immediately just takes you to teaching resources, right? So you look, you have here uh, this uh, gender discrimination, right? And you hit run code, OK? 
Okay, I run this code and then I get output for the code uh, in a table that goes along with what was in the book. So you can kind of read these two together as well as some questions, some questions that you can ask directly. Now look at this, what did I do? What I did was I opened R Markdown. I opened the R Markdown file in R Studio. Okay, so after I've you know, forked it, used Git to kind of bring it to my local computer, um, then I open it and I run it. Okay, and then that created this uh, interactive R Markdown document. But look, look where it is. 127.0.0.1 colon 28750 slash. Right? What is that? Well, it's not the internet. It's a local, it's, it's, this is an R Studio output and this is stored locally on your computer. So one of the things you can do, one of the things you can do with this, pro, with this book is you can just simply download the uh, R Markdown scripts using GitHub uh, or Git, download them and then just do all this yourself. So do all of it yourself uh, in your class. Everybody plays around with it. Everybody can even edit this, okay? They can even edit this if they want to. They can change some of this, right? 3,500, okay? Well, that doesn't work because the data only goes to 2,500, but still you've got, um, you got all those options, right? So that's one, that's one option. That's using learner, right? Learner is to run a package called learner. Right here it is right there. Install a package called learner. And then when you hit run document, it creates that R markdown output. Another thing though, is to do, uh, just run the files in R studio. Right. And what does that do? So here I am in my R markdown. So let's go to one of these chunks. How about this one? Now this is, a, this is called a code chunk. Look, so this, see how it's in gray right here? Goes together like that. What I can do is actually run this code chunk directly. And there it is running in the, con in, in the console. I can see the output, okay? And then it goes in right there. So that's another thing I can do. Another thing I can do or what you can have with the student, and these are both free options, just run the code chunks themselves. All it takes is a little hand-holding to get them comfortable with either using Git to fork those repos, you know, and get a local version of the file, or just simply download the R Markdown, you know, both of which just requires uh, going to this repo. Just going to this repo and you can either get the code itself, clone it, or you can fork it, right? So those are two things you can do. What's the third thing? The third thing is now both of these used RStudio, right? So this was, you have to have RStudio, right? Notice how it says that. To do option one, you have to have RStudio. To do option two, you have to have RStudio. Right, because here you're running chunks of code. So in all of these examples, you have to have RStudio, but there's an option where you can run files in the web browser and you're not gonna use your RStudio, okay? So there's this website called uh, uh, shinyapps.io, shinyapps.io, and shinyapps.io is owned by R Studio, and so if you get an account with shinyapps.io, they will run it for you. They'll run the uh, code for you in R Studio, but they'll do it on, in the browser. So watch, we'll go here, follow these instructions, right? I've already, uh, I've already got an account, but I'm gonna use my GitHub to get on, okay? I get my GitHub to get on, and then I'm here. All right, these are my recent applications. You can walk, it'll walk you through how to do all this. So I go to this one and I'm gonna go to mixtape shinyapps.io slash 01 probability and regression. Click on it and look what this is. This is the internet displaying the R markdown in your browser. It's the same stuff we did just a minute ago, um, but uh, only it's being done on the Shiny Apps website. The company R Studio is running this for you. Now here's the deal: because they're running it for you, it's a scarce resource, right? They only have a scarce amount of 
computing power at our studio. So you have a free version that you can get. Okay, you can get a free version here. You have to have an account, allows you to create a website. They will run the R code on their servers. There's a free option for you to set up and see if you like it. But if you do like it, it's probably a good idea for your students. This is probably a good idea for class. Because what you could do is simply get $10 a month subscription to Shiny Apps. And then for $10 a month, you would just simply gift to the class the website. And then, you know, for $50, they would have had our studio in the browser for them to do anything they wanted with. And they could even edit, you know, they could even edit, um, they could even edit directly, start over, run the code, do whatever, okay? So those are the options that we have for teachers that are wanting to use the, the mixtape for their classes. Um, the book will be out January 26th. The HTML version is open now. Thanks a lot and hope you find it valuable.